everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be going over our weekly NCLEX question. And don't forget to check out our other free resources to help you study for NCLEX. So let's get started. A 36 year old male patient is diagnosed with acute kidney injury. The patient's 24 hour urine output is 4.5 liters. Based on this stage of AKI, what complications and assessment findings may present in this patient? Select all that apply. A, water intoxication. B, hypotension. C, low urine specific gravity. D, hypokalemia. E, GFR greater than 90 milliliters per minute. F, normal BUN and creatinine level. Or G, profound confusion due to azotemia. So from our scenario, we know that our patient has acute kidney injury, AKI, also known as acute renal failure. And one thing that should be jumping out at you in this scenario is that patient's 24 hour urinary output, which is four and a half liters. So now you should be thinking of questions like, what is a normal urinary output and what are those stages of acute kidney injury? Okay, so a normal urinary output is one to two liters per day. That's what a normal adult should be putting out. Now those stages, let's go over that because if we can determine what stage this patient is in and whenever we're going over these signs and symptoms and findings, we'll know if this is the correct answer. Okay, so four stages. You have the first stage, which is the initiation stage. And this is where there has been a cause of injury to the kidney. Remember from our renal series, we talked about pre-renal causes, intra-renal causes, and post-renal causes to when signs and symptoms appear. So when the signs and symptoms appear, they're in another stage. And they can either go to the auguloric or the diuresis stage. Not all patients go from initiation to auguloric. They may skip auguloric and go straight to diuresis. So you really always want to be watching that urinary output. So we know they're not in the initiation stage. Okay, the auguloric, what is that? Well, one of the best ways to determine if they're in there, in this stage or a diuresis or recovery, is to ask yourself, what is their urinary output? Well, it's four and a half liters, and what should the urinary output be in the auguloric stage? It should be less than 400 milliliters per day. So less than 400 milliliters per day. Now, our patient is having four and a half, so we can write them out of being in this stage. But let's review this stage because if we see signs and symptoms that should be going in the auguloric, we know we can eliminate those from over here. So let's talk a little bit about the auguloric stage. Okay, their urinary output is very minimal. And why is that? Well, that glomerulus, that part of the nephron that filters the blood is damaged and it's not filtering the way it should. So the glomerular filtration rate, that GFR, is going to be severely decreased. And a normal GFR is greater than 90 milliliters per minute. So that is the amount of blood that that glomerulus is filtering. So it's not filtering the blood like it should. So all the waste, all the water, all those electrolytes are staying and accumulating in the blood and not being excreted through the kidneys to be voided out. So GFR is going to be decreased. What's gonna happen to our waste levels, specifically that BUN and creatinine? They're just gonna stay in the blood because our glomerulus isn't filtering it. So they're gonna dramatically increase. And when we get that, what's gonna happen? Patient's gonna have acidotic conditions. They're gonna get confused and they're gonna have issues like that. So we're gonna have a confused patient who's not filtering a lot of blood. Because they're not filtering a lot of blood, what's gonna to happen to that water in the blood? It's just gonna stay there. It's not gonna be filtered through the kidneys. So you're gonna get fluid volume overload, which can lead to hypertension, edema, swelling, which can lead to pulmonary problems like pulmonary edema and heart failure, things like that. So fluid volume is going to be increased and we're gonna have hypertension. Okay, electrolytes. Electrolytes are gonna be all out of whack and specifically we're looking at the potassium levels. What's gonna to happen to those? They're gonna have hyperkalemia because Glomerulus isn't filtering that potassium out. 
we're also gonna have hyperphosphatemia, which is going to decrease our calcium levels, hypokalemia, and we're gonna have high magnesium levels called hypermagnesemia. So we're gonna be dealing with a lot of high electrolytes, except for the calcium. Now, how is our urine specific gravity going to be? Is our urine going to be really concentrated or is it going to be diluted? Well, it's going to be very concentrated. So the urine specific gravity is going to be high. And whenever you do see the urine put out by these patients, if they put any out, it's very dark colored and very concentrated looking. Okay. Now let's go to the diuresis stage. What is the urinary output going to be in the diuresis stage? Okay, to help me remember this, always think of giving patients diuretics. Whenever you give patients diuretics, what do they do? They urinate a lot. So this is what happens in this stage. They're putting out a lot of urine. And remember, one to two liters is a normal amount. And these patients who are in this stage can put out anywhere from three to six liters per day. So, I think it's confident to say our patient is probably in the diuresis stage because they're putting out a lot of urine. Now, let's talk about the diuresis stage. Okay, what is going on? Well, this is where algal marylis is starting to function again. So our GFR is going to start improving. It's gonna start increasing, but it's going to be abnormal still. So remember, a normal one was greater than 90 milliliters per minute. So it's increasing, but it's still not there. So our kidneys have got that ability to filter the blood again. So it's going to start removing a lot of waste from the blood, specifically urea and creatinine. But it doesn't have the ability yet to concentrate the urine, so we're not going to get electrolyte balances yet. So what's gonna start happening to our BUN and creatinine? They're gonna start coming down, but they're still gonna be abnormal, but they're gonna come down. Now, because that glomerulus is starting to filter again, it's removing specifically a lot of urea out of that blood into that filtrate. Now, this is gonna cause osmotic diuresis because that high amount of urea is going to cause water to pull from the blood into the kidneys, and that is why you're gonna see this high amount of urine being lost. So they're peeing a lot. What's gonna to happen to their fluid volume? They're urinating it out. It's going to decrease. So they're gonna get hypotension. Now what's gonna to happen to our electrolyte levels? Well, we can't concentrate our urine yet, and we're putting out a lot of fluids. Well, one thing that's going to happen is our potassium level is going to drop. So they're at risk for hypokalemia. And what's going to happen to their urine specific gravity? Is their urine going to be really concentrated or is it going to be diluted? It's going to be really diluted. So it's going to be low because of all that water being pulled from the body into the nephron. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. We have a lot of our complications and our signs and symptoms. Now, why are they not in recovery? Because some people may think they're in the recovery stage. Well, the recovery stage is when the urinary output is normal. They have recovered and everything's back to normal. So the GFR is going to be normal, which is going to allow us to maintain our BUN and creatinine levels, which will be normal. Our fluid volume status should be normal and our electrolytes will be normal and it'll be able to maintain itself. Here this patient isn't maintaining because they're at four and a half liters or voiding that within a 24 hour period. So they're in the diuresis stage. Now let's start eliminating our options. Okay, A, water intoxication. Are they gonna have this? No, if anything, they're gonna be fluid volume depleted. They're not gonna be water intoxicated. So this is not one of our answers. Are they gonna have hypotension? Yes, because remember, they're depleted fluid volume. They're urinating all their fluid and their blood out so they can have hypotension. So B is an answer. C, low urinary specific gravity. Yes, it's going to be low because that urine is really diluted. It's not concentrated like how it was here in the auguric stage. Hypokalemia. Yes, because they are urinating all that fluid out. One of those main electrolytes that can be 
in trouble whenever a patient is urinating a lot is potassium. That's why whenever we give like loop diuretics, like Lasix, we're always watching those potassium levels because it's getting wasted. So yes, hypokalemia. Are they gonna have a GFR greater than 90 milliliters per minute? No, remember their GFR is increasing, but it's still gonna be abnormal. They've got the ability to filter the blood, but it's not gonna be normal yet. That would be in the recovery stage if they make it there, depending on the degree of damage that was done to the kidney. So that's not one of our answers. Are they gonna have a normal BUN and creatinine? No, they won't. That's in the recovery stage, but the BUN and creatinine will start decreasing, but it won't be, abnormal, it won't be normal yet. And G, profound confusion due to azo, azotemia. That is that buildup of those waste products in the blood. And actually in the diuresis stage, because that BUN is starting to come down, because the glomerulus is starting to filter again, they're actually, you're gonna see them become more alert and oriented compared to the auguric stage where they're really gonna have that confusion. So no, that is not an answer. So our answer is B, C, and D. Okay, so that wraps up this weekly NCLEX practice question. And don't forget to check out the other questions in this series. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.